Okay, we need a few libraries in order to make this work. Some of them are built into Arduino, but there's one in particular which is not built into Arduino. And the one I'm going to use for the GPS module is this one. It's called Tiny GPS Plus. Well, it's actually called Tiny GPS Plus Plus from Brightly. It's written by a guy called Mikhail Hart. Uh, and as usual, I'd like to say thank you to, uh, to this man for uh, creating this library because these libraries take a long time to create and it, it's a lot of effort required. Uh, and a lot of time and obviously this thing's for free anyway so go to here uh, download the source code zip and um, basically when that's done um, you'll have the option of copying this link here this zip uh, library so copy the link there and then go to the code and then go to sketch and then include library and then go to add zip library and then in here, basically, you just paste it in and click open, and it will import the library, or it should do anyway. Now, in my case, I've already got it installed, so uh, it, it will already be there. But in your case, obviously, uh, it will sort it out for you, and it will include it. So, um, this code's quite long uh, and maybe a little bit drawn out, so I'm going to include it on my website, and there'll be a link in the description so you can get this code for yourself. Um, but I'm going to actually explain what it does um, to you. So here we go. I'm not going to uh, explain everything. I'm not going to explain the SD stuff and I'm not going to explain the uh, LCD because they're covered in other videos. But I will explain the GPS stuff. So to start with, we've got the uh, GPS um, include there to include the library. Then we've got these uh, these variables here, so the RX pin and the TX pin, that's for software serial, so we can communicate with the GPS module. Then this is to select the GPS board, which in this case is 9600 board, or bits per second, is it bits per second or bytes per second, I can't remember. And then um, we've got some other bits of code, uh, we initialize the uh, reference here, we initialize software serial, um, and then basically we uh, begin uh, serial to the computer, we begin software serial, and then this is something I left in so that you can see who created the library. And we go down here, uh, let's, let's see, where's the next thing that's to do with GPS? Here we go. So if it's time to read the GPS, then we go to read, which is down here somewhere, where is it? There. And this says, while software serial is available, in other words, while there's data to be read in the buffer in Arduino from the GPS module, then GPS encode whatever there is to be read. And, um, and basically that prepares, it basically feeds back and fills in the GPS uh, library or instance of the library. And then back over here, after it's been read in, you can say every second or whatever, you can say, if GPS location is valid, then the, lo the latitude is, in other words, gps.location.lat, and that returns the latitude, uh, formatted with six digits, and then you can say, uh, get the location.longitude, which is, of course, the longitude. And then you can uh, put them both together, concatenate them both, and you'll get it in the traditional format that uh, latitude and longitude comes in. And then um, I print it out uh, to serial, and then if the date is valid, then we can also get the day, month, and the year in a similar sort of way, gps.date.day, etc. Uh, we can also get hour, minute, and second from uh, the GPS uh, as well. And then uh, pretty much the rest of it is um, covered in other tutorials, like I've got read, uh, sorry, write to SD and then manage the LEDs and stuff. And essentially, this code will uh, write well, it will poll the GPS uh, module and then it will write to the SD card once a second and that's what I want to do. And then after I've done that, um, what I intend to do is to drive around around the local area um, in which time it will be logging my location every second. And then I want to come back and hopefully I'll have a big list of, um, of areas, uh, well not areas, but longitudes and latitudes uh, resembling where I've been and then I want to put them into an online service uh, website and it should hopefully plot out my locations uh, that I've been for every second while driving so that's what I want to try and do and um, 
let's see how it, let's see how it pans out. Okay, so I'm in my car in Chester, or just outside Chester, and I want to drive to a town called um, Queens Ferry, and it's about five or six miles away. And hopefully, this thing will be able to track my movements so that when I get back to my office, I can uh, have a look through what it logged. So I've got this thing um, connected here uh, with a cable, and down here I've actually done something in my car and changed it so I have a USB port. So I'm going to plug this thing in and see what it does. Okay, so it's looking good so far, it's turning on. We've got green LED flicking. Or have we? No, we haven't. We've got no LED. Okay, so maybe it'll take a minute to uh, to actually find a signal of some sort. Let's have a look. The camera's not picking this screen out so well. Let's give it a minute. And we're ready to go. It has a fix. And um, you can see I've got a green light, a green LED, and maybe it can see the longitude and latitude. It seems to be working, although it doesn't pick it out very well, this camera, for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to fix it to here with a bit of blue tack and hopefully uh, this thing will work. Okay, it looks as though that's as good as I can do. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here I am in a supermarket uh, car park, and um, I think I'll stop the test there. So what I need to do is take the card out, which I'll do now. Uh, where is it? There it is. Take the card out. And now I'll turn it off. Wow, you see how fast it's moving now, uh, now that we're stationary. That's interesting. Anyway... Turn that off, and so all the data is on this little card here, on this little card, so I'll keep this thing safe, and then I'll go to my office and um, put the card in its little adapter and have a look at what's happened, have a look at what it's logged basically. Okay, so I've got the SD card now, I put it into an adapter, I plug the adapter into my PC, into one of the USB ports, and I've got a file called log, created today, which makes sense, and it's 17,000 bytes, which also makes sense. Just double click on it, and yeah, I've got the lat, lon, date, and time. But what I need to do, in order to use any tool to map this thing out, I need to get rid of the date and the time, which, to be honest, I could have got rid of that in, in Arduino Studio. I didn't have to put that in, because my code actually specifies to do that. However, I need to get rid of it in this particular circumstance. Mm. Now, from, um, from memory, from a long time ago, many years ago, I noticed there was a tool that can actually open text documents and format them in a, in a CSV type of way and that was uh, this program here so I'm going to open that so now I come to open the file I've got a couple of choices 
about how I want to delimit or how this thing is going to be delimited and I'm going to choose delimited there it's delimited by a space and a comma so that's right there then general 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 that doesn't matter now this is the date and that's the time I don't need those two I will however need headers so uh, lat it ud latitude and long dit ud is that right longitude or is it longitude latitude longitude long longitude I can't remember anyway um so that's right there now I need to save this save as and I need to save it in the same direction ideally and yet yeah, text delimit no not text um right what do I want to do here CSV I want to save a CSV I'll go to save yep yeah. now hopefully that would have worked so now I'm going to go to this site here um it's called uh, GPS visualizer and I just picked any and I'm hoping this is going to work so go to choose file and then obviously the CSV that we created so choose file log PNG map SVG blah 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 let's just go for Google Maps map that and see what it does oh wow it worked so Google Maps output your GPS data has been processed so thank you to this website here your map should be displayed below and it's temporarily available to view or download from here okay this is very cool so this is mapped out each of those uh, second uh, bits of data let's zoom in oh wow this is really good yeah so there's the garage I can't think it's a bit bigger no I don't think so so there's the garage uh, where I first started <coughs> and that's uh, pretty much spot on that's where I parked in the car park yeah, and then I went down there, and then there, and then across here. Yeah, that makes sense. And you can see it's extremely accurate. I mean, this is accurate to, I'd say, about a meter or two. Look, you can see there, there are tiny little imperfections, but it's very good. Let's um, zoom out a little bit. So I drove across that road of course down there yep there's actually a little bit where it gets really accurate where it starts sampling really really fast i think it must be here you see how uh, perfect it is yeah went across this bridge to queen's ferry now what's what's it going to do here yeah you see how it maybe turns off a bit there or something i'm not quite sure but it's pretty good let's go down here yeah i went down there I did cross the roundabout, yep, and I did do that, and I did park there, yeah. So it's it's extremely accurate, and uh, thanks to this tool too, I was able to map it out. Now I know it's not ideal to have to use a, a mapping tool like this, uh, but it's perfect to just demonstrate that the thing, uh, the GPS module, actually works perfectly, and it's very very accurate too. So there's my little journey. Uh, mapped out very well to be honest considering that I only took one sample a second I'm very impressed yes so um, that's how to wire up the GPS module at that particular Rayax one which is very good quality by the way uh, I've shown you a little bit about wiring up one or two other little uh, modules and things uh, i shown you the code briefly the code will be available on my website to download um, I did a little journey and uh, the data that was stored from the journey every second was mapped out over here when I come back home I took the SD card out I manipulated the data and I uploaded it to this very good website here called GPS visualizer and it mapped it out for me um, very well so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and as usual thanks for watching bye